Hey guys, welcome to my third update to my Aquion 54 corner tank. Again, like usual, there's uh, many changes that's going on in this tank. I'd like to start off with the uh, the fish change first, and then I'll go over the uh, different corals I have added. Um, the Tamini Tang was uh, removed from the tank along with the Starkey Damsel from my last video. Uh, the Starkey Damsel actually was pretty good in my tank, but it definitely uh, gave the bonus a little chase and more than I, I wanted. So I removed the damsel and uh, you know returned it to the uh, fish store and got some credit and used it for another fish. Um, I can see the Pabonis just loves to be swimming around before he wasn't, uh, the Starkey Danza wasn't given the opportunity to uh, swim around too much. So he's very happy. His fins is growing back. Um, he had issues with the Tamini Tang too as well, which the Tamini Tang has stressed out my blue dot jawfish that I had. I don't think he was in the last video, but I got him after the video. Uh, and the blue dot, uh, you know, since they are the scales, there's it in the system, and he came in a host fish, bringing the egg into the uh, breeding ground to, you know, increase the levels. And unfortunately, now it's in the uh, higher population, but the fish is doing good. I don't really see any signs of egg. I do see the flashing of my fish, so I know it's still in the water and the tomites are floating around, but the uh, fish are very um, healthy eating and not stressed, which will trigger uh, the tomites and to, to attach to the fish and start reproducing even more. Uh, the candy hog is doing very well, it's growing very big. Um, and as you see here, got a little presence here, I did get my Hawaiian dwarf eel. He's sticking his head. He's actually the, um, I wish I could get a better focus, but um, he is the most active eel I had, and this is my third eel, uh, Hawaiian Dwarf Mora Eel. And the funny thing about him is that my other eels will just take krill right off the stick, they'll eat anything. He's very particular. He does not like krill, and I give so many chances to give him krill, and that does not work. But he'll eat squid and silver slide. So he's the first uh, eel that I had that I'm actually chopping up silver sides to give him but that's what he likes he hates krill does not want he smells it and goes away and how many times I wait a couple days maybe he's hungry and try to do it again still avoids it so uh, that's good news for my shrimp because um, even though they're really harmless against the shrimp with my experience um, he just doesn't have the taste for shrimp so as you can see there's other fish that's been swimming around he's in a new addition here yeah, that's a falco hawkfish uh, I just wanted a little bit more color, um, keeping my fish count down in this tank compared to my last tanks. But uh, he's a cool little guy. And out of the hawkfish, he's the least aggressive. I mean, they always have with caution uh, with, with shrimp and invertebrates. But uh, apparently he's like a small fish. Um, he's pretty good. I mean, he just likes to perch. He swims around, hangs on the rock, doesn't really interfere with my swimmers. So, and uh, it doesn't seem like he's chasing anybody, so he's not really tutorial in this tank, so that's a good thing. Um, the zoo rock that I had planned on and is uh, starting to take shape, I have here, it's uh, called God of War Zoo. I'm sorry about the focus, but let me see if I can get a, a nice zoom in there, but this curvature of the tank doesn't really give me a good zoom, but uh, that's a God of War right here. My rosters are not doing too good, but I see one little polyp opening right now. There's some roster zoos right here. I did get an ultra rock anemone. I, I want to get a couple more on this piece of rock here. And then I have, uh, it's called scrambled eggs uh, below it. Uh, the Tulsa is doing good. I did get a meat coral over here. And the uh, Gorgonian still has issues of opening up fully, but it's not receding or anyway, so it's doing okay, I would say. But it's not to its full potential that I've seen in the uh, store when I got it. Uh, the frog sponge doing pretty good. I got more yellow sponges growing around. The blue sponge seems to be okay. Uh, the acans are growing more heads. 
since my last video. As you can see, there's a lot more baby heads growing on the side. Hopefully, it starts attaching itself to the main rock here. Uh, my Redactus mushrooms are growing uh, like most mushrooms will. They're very easy coral to keep alive. Pulsing Xena is doing okay, just not really expanding yet. Maybe because it's too much flow in that area to uh, expand, which is okay with me. It's really, I only got this coral for my wife. And the tube anemone is getting big. It's uh, eating very well, keeping real good color, and uh, it's a nice thing. Uh, moving along here, this is a cool coral. This is the Sayonara coral, but this is a pinkish red color, but a yellow center. As the tentacles are out right now, uh, a very hard color to get. Uh, I is the first time I ever seen one with this nice uh, transition color with a yellow center and has like a pink mouth almost. Awesome, awesome coral. Uh, and right behind there, I have an ORA Gold Maxima clam. I had him for about a month. The walking dendro in the background is doing good. The brain coral over here is doing good as well. I did get a big branching tree orange coral here. I'm not coral, but sponge. Uh, it, it is receding. You can see the white on here. I had it for about a month already. Um, it is a very hard to keep sponge, as most sponges are. Um, but hopefully, it uh, will rebound. But it's um, it's always a challenge with sponge. But I, since I had the other sponge doing okay in my tank, I gave it a shot. It's not in direct light. They have to be more a high flow, low light type of scenario. This is actually far away from the center of my light in my tank, so let's see how it pans out. I did get a tail spot blenny, as you can see right here, one of my favorite tail spot blenny, uh, blennies out there. Clownfish are doing good. The uh, black Alcelaris or snowflake clown, as you say, with the ORA is the female, and the frostbite is the male. Gold torch is doing good. I moved my other torch coral over here. It didn't seem like with the tour, with the uh, tube anemone, it wasn't being happy over there so I kind of moved them over here. The hammer coral over here um, actually perished. I had a yellow clown goby which didn't make it through the ick-ish situation but uh, it was really disturbed that hammer coral that I had here in my last video where this orange tree sponge is and um, it just fell apart just receded and you know what happens with that with coral. Uh, I did get a little war coral here you see the uh, tentacles all out right now uh, real cool coral, it's uh, yellow eyes or greenish eyes and red all around. And I got this nice four-headed uh, torch coral with the purple tips and it's, a nice, it's a very happy in that spot. This is also a cool lobo. Uh, it's hard to see in this video but it is red, nice deep red with yellow markings all over it which is really hard to get a lobo like that. So I uh, jumped on it when I saw it in the store. And my Duncan Coral is doing very good, as you see in my last video, nice and uh, full. So that's what I have going on with the coral and the fish. Where I have a red scooter bunny that's floating around. You might not see him, but he's somewhere. That's a female. He's been doing good. Uh, it's been converting over to uh, the mysis and the um, Nutrima over or the Cyclopes, whatever I put in the tank. So it's going to keep on being healthy. And uh, the, this is what I have going in the tank. I just changed out my Kimi Pure Blue uh, bag because I saw some algae growing on the side walls too fast, so I knew it was time to change out the bag. Uh, you always got to look for the signs in your tank uh, to change things out that needs to be replaced, such as something like that because it removes the phosphates, and also your coral won't open. Uh, the corals look like they're just having a tough time opening up, you just got to look out for the phosphate, something like that, that would be um, a factor, a reason why that's happening. So if you pay attention to your tank, there's always signs regarding a fish or coral or something that something's not right. And then you just got to find what the issue could be. And again, my uh, media bag was about three months, which I said in the instructions to replace. It was uh, pretty much, I guess, done collecting the phosphates out of the water. So I replaced it with a new one yesterday when I did my water change and cleaned the tank. So that should eliminate that and prevent any coral from getting algae growth on top of it and killing it, along with the sponge. That's a no main factor why sponges die is because the algae starts growing on the outside, blocks the pores, and then it just 
just dies off. So, again, I hope you guys' tanks are doing very well. If you have any questions or anything like that with my experience regarding any of the fish I have or coral, just shoot me a message or post a comment on my YouTube and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Happy reefing and hope your tanks are doing well.